All right, so same night, uh, just finished up, you know, the, the Springer. And I figured while I got some motivation, we'll roll into the next video. And that's actually gonna be for the Street Glide. So I uh, had a company reach out after that last video we did of the lights on my buddy Street Glide. Uh, and they said, hey, we liked your video so much. Why don't you check out our store? If you see something that you groove on, let us know. I found something I grooved on. Something I've been looking at somewhere else. Uh, but I haven't been wanting to spend over $500 on this something else until these guys showed up. So I'm gonna fill you in on that, but I wanna quickly jump on something that my wife got me for our anniversary a couple of weeks ago, which was super cool. It was on my Amazon wish list, you know, cause everybody's always asking, what do you want for your birthday? What do you want for Father's Day, Christmas, whatever. And it's just easier to have an Amazon list and say, hey, go knock yourself out. Anything on this list works. So what she got me, and again, this is another one-handed opening. There, ah, there we go. Is these little magnetic covers. You know, and they were, I, I think less than 15 bucks, definitely less than 20. So let me try to open one of these up here. Turn it into handy dandy little tripod. All right, whoa, as I throw it. All right, so that's all it is. So we're just gonna take this over to the bike here. And this docking hardware, super handy. But seeing as how I'm not running a back seat or a beer rack right now, sometimes I run a combination, you know, you know, passenger seat, backrest, beer rack, it's just any sort of combination. But when I'm running nothing or only one or the other, these pop on there and hide this, which I appreciate. So, and you got long ones and short ones. Ah, hey, look at that, Amazon, the magnet came out. Shocking. So that that might need some super glue. That, that's actually kind of funny. I, not expecting that. So, note to self, goes on and off real easy, but then the magnet stays there. So I'm gonna get some super glue. That, that's funny. Ha, <laughs> real time guys, real time. So that, that will rectify shortly. But the whole reason for this video is this box here. And of course I opened it already, but I did not unbox it. So we're gonna go through that here real quick. All right, sorry about that. Wife came out, had to, she's headed off somewhere, so I had to say goodbye. So, this is from a company called Ben Lari, and I'll put that down below. Uh, they are another Amazon storefront, so don't hate me. This is an aesthetic thing for me, and I just can't bring myself to spend $500 on something that's aesthetic. So, let's get into it. So first off, not a lot of packaging. You know, some foam to keep it from rolling around, some rubber pads on the contact points. But other than that, I mean, there's not, no foam, no like styrofoam wrap or anything. So I was a little surprised to see that. So we'll get that out. But we've got a box in my way, a sissy bar. And it's one of those. So the company I've looked at, and the one that I'm most familiar with, is Suicide Shoppers. And I'm sure they make a phenomenal product, you know, um, but for $525, I, that was just a really hard pill to swallow. I, I couldn't do it, especially since I don't run a sissy bar often. This is $140 right now on their site and you know what i figured let's give it a whirl worst case scenario you know i was thinking in my head 
I'll I'll just put it back there for looks. It'll look good, I know. If it's cheap garbage, I'm not gonna trust anybody to lean against it. But you know, it it feels it feels pretty solid. I mean, it's it's hefty. And see if I can't get you in on some of these welds here. The welds look clean. They don't look super boogered. So that was pleasant. I mean, it's probably a, a machine weld, not a hand weld. Now, you know, the bracket back here is welded on, so you could take the pad off, but then you're left with a bracket. So the bracket may or may not be staying on there. I might grind that off and pop the pad. I don't know yet. I'm going to give it some time. It's the foam on it is firm. So I, I will say that. I mean, I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't, yeah. All right. And I suppose I could compare it to the one of the others that I've got, one of the Harley ones. Let's go do that. So these are all Harley sissy bars. This is the one that I've got for the street glide. Yeah, this one is this one is softer. That's for the fat boy. That's definitely softer, and that's off the Springer. That's super soft. But then again, it's almost 25 years old. So this one is definitely firm whether or not a passenger would like that i don't know so now we're going to go ahead and lay this over and we're going to go over this this is a tool that if you need it they provide it so that way in case you're putting this on the bike and this distance here is just too narrow or too wide the directions walk you through how to put this together and run it through that hole and that hole so you can push it or pull it together as needed. I'm really hoping I don't need to use that. So I'm gonna go ahead and strip these little rubber protectors out. And I know I'm not gonna be able to do a one-handed install. So I'm gonna to have to get this on and check back with you guys. But it does have the, the plastic grommet here and the metal here, the latches feel solid, even though, I'm, there it goes, twisting. They are not lockable. So, I mean, that's okay, because the ones that I have for the street glide aren't lockable anyway, or the ones for the fat boy. So, that's all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tools. I'm gonna put this on the bike and let you know how that fitment went. All right, so she's on. Now I'm trying to figure out how to get you a good angle on this. I got too many motorcycles in my garage. So there she is. It actually, it popped on, not a problem. I didn't have to use the fancy tool or nothing. Uh, I will say it's got a little bit of a wiggle. I don't know if that's coming through, but it's right down here. And that's just because these plastic uh, bushings in here are kind of canned, they're kind of oblong. And I could probably take that wiggle out if I were to loosen the bolt here and give them a little bit of a twist and tighten them back down. But I'm not gonna do that because I know the way I have my normal sissy bar and everything else set up for this, that's perfect. I'm not gonna tweak it for this. Um, you know, cause I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Cause otherwise you're going back and forth, back and forth. It, it's just easier. The wiggle isn't that bad to me. Some people that might drive you nuts, you know, in which case, you know, turn the bushing. But uh, this latch spun very freely, very easily, and it locked right into place. It is spring loaded. Now this one, that son bitch is tight. Uh, I won't look to maybe see if I could loosen up that, but I don't have the right size Allen head and I'm not gonna go and bust out my universal Allen key set because I'm worried that's probably too tight and I'm gonna end up snapping my cheap dollar store Allen key set. But I mean, it it's tight, it's not going anywhere. It fit perfectly right up front on the shocks here. It dropped right in, I'm not super tight, you know, I'm not, I didn't have to flex it in or out, it just dropped right in. And you know, I like it. You know, I, I think it's kind of a fun profile. I'm, I even appreciate that it's black. They don't offer chrome yet. This is a new product for them. I don't know if they're planning on offering chrome, 
but for now it's just black you know and yeah you know, I'm not sure how I feel about you know the sissy bar with a solo seat that might look better with the two up seat on there I'm sorry I'm not gonna make that change because that settlement seat I love it but popping that thing on and off is not super simple you know involves a, a box wrench and you know tiring out my hand from holding the seat back so imagine if you will that seat here it might work a little bit better not super in love with the pad but again it's more of an aesthetic so I think I'm gonna run it kind of go from there and see what I think in time and you guys know I'm gonna update you you know if for some reason it starts falling apart on me I'm gonna let you know but I don't hate it uh, it feels so the welds look good the one hinge being super tight I'm not really gonna knock them for that I'm not gonna deduct points for that because honestly I'd rather those latches be tight than loose and just spinning around so I appreciate they gave you the tool the extra tool I haven't been drinking I swear yet I will be after this though uh, that if you need to flex it you can by yourself uh, you know the the powder coat or the paint you know it's you know it's not a $500 part but it's not terrible it's all uniform no major dings you know you can I can see a little bit of grind marks you know under the paint here from you know when they welded this together and ground it smooth and painted over it I mean it's not perfect but if you want if you want something that's show quality you know you're gonna pay for show quality you know this appears to be functional I like it I'm gonna run it um, for aesthetics stuff like this I'm okay with the with the Amazon stuff I, I I'm actually kind of impressed with this uh, just put it side by side with suicide choppers it's probably gonna you know be a no-brainer who wins there but like I said $525 for suicide choppers 140 for this and if I remember correctly I believe this is listed at a 26 inch now I don't know if that's measuring from the point down to where it attaches or if it's from the point to here but we can find out real quick hopefully I can do this one-handed so oh I'm upside down so we're just gonna go say from the top of that bracket straight up to the top there we're gonna go ahead and call that 16 inches from bracket to tip so I'm assuming then from down here yeah so they do list it at 26 inches but that 26 is from your fender or your uh, sorry not your fender your shock to the peak from here from the top of the bracket to the top of the peak you're at 16 inches and the 22 inch from suicide like I said is $525 as of three days ago four days ago something like that 140 right now so that being said uh, Ben Lari in their infinite wisdom because I didn't have this idea the gal I was dealing with brought it up there's gonna actually be a discount code for anybody who's interested on anything from their website they've got all kinds of stuff they've got these they've got LED lights uh, like blinkers and whatnot they've got axle nut covers they have got the coolest axle nut covers I have seen yet it's a two-piece with uh, the inner part that goes on the axle nut has three set screws and a rubber gasket and then there's an outer piece that threads on and then kind of keeps all of those uh, set screws locked in place so they're gonna back out I've never seen that that was a hell of a good idea I thought plus that rubber gasket in there kind of help keep some moisture out they're onto something there and they have that in black or chrome you know and, and a plethora of other things uh, so forgive me I just those are what stuck out of my mind when I was at their site so I say check them out they're very affordable I think those axle nut covers were 25 35 bucks in that ballpark but I don't know what the discount code is uh, but I will drop it down below I'll also put it down in the, in the description 
uh, along with a link to their site. So uh, I'm going to give this some, some time. Like I said, you saw me just put it on. But, you know, winter's rapidly approaching, so I'm running short on time. But we're, I'm going to get out. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to be reefing on this thing. And I'll let you guys know if it disappoints. But for now, that's it. Uh, questions, comments, concerns, let me know. And I'll get back at you. Till then, we'll catch you all next time. Later.